Celebrities pretend to be who they aren't, so stop listening to them. Clergy pretend to be called by gods, let's flock to them. So this is just a thought I came up with. Currently in this pandemic, if you're listening to this in the future, in the year 2000, in the year 2000, that Conan O'Brien skit was, was pretty grand. There's a whole mashup of it on YouTube because we're just living in the great times where pretty much anything you can think of that you remember from the past in relative recent past, you can just go online and you find it there. It's, it's pretty awesome. So we have good times and there's a lot of things to be found. There's a lot of things from the past that still exist. There's a lot of new things that seem to be taking over from things from the past. One thing from the past that still exists are some of these 2,000-year-old religions, for example, the Abrahamic religions. Some are older, 2,000 years old is we're talking about Christianity. The one that's a little younger than that is, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> Islam, that I think is, what, uh, 600 years younger. And then Judaism is way older. It's like a trilogy. It's like a trilogy of... Of Abraham, the trilogy of Abraham, the Abrahamic trilogy. Part one is Judaism. Part two, the sequel was um, <laughs> was was, was uh, Christianity, and then the one to end them all was Islam. That's that's kind of how I think about those things. The triumvirate. Triumvirate is that really an appropriate use of that term here? Okay, so I'm just padding this video, I guess. <laughs> I'm not padding this video. Let me get to the actual point. One thing that I've been seeing right now is. The meltdown, relative meltdown of celebrities. I have a separate video talking about that. Where one of the first things I noticed was, wow, these people spend much of their time being in the public eye. Much of their time is involved with actually getting public to, what's my call it, to reinforce their sense of specialness, reinforce their position. They require a lot of people to come watch what they do, listen to what they do, come to their concerts, go to their movies, come to their social media pages and all these things and see them outside doing all these things among other people, being cheered, being chased, being looked after. This relationship some of them have with paparazzi isn't as toxic as some may think because they understand the more I'm out there in the public eye, the more money comes into my bank account, etc., etc. For most of them, that's how they are. There's a few exceptions, like people like Daniel Day-Lewis, who I don't know what Daniel Day-Lewis has outside of his life, but I know when he's on film, He's acting his ass off. <laughs> That's one thing I know, and he sells that enough. But some people are different. Some people thrive on that. Some people are better known. Some celebrities are more celebrated for what they do off of their supposed profession, their supposed skill, and their supposed talent. There are people who are literally public entities. They're literally influencers. They're literally, literally socialites. What happens when being social is curtailed or banned? So what happens to that? But some people still get something out of this. Some people still watch them and get a boost in their life. And this is something that whether you believe it or not, whether you agree with it or not, it happens. Think about some people who just have favorite teams. There's other teams in that same league that you may have a favorite team that gives you ups and downs in your life that you don't care about. There's other sports in other countries who might be even in that same thing that you've never heard of that have a whole bunch of other people that get some ups and downs, similar ups and downs as you do from that. But we understand we don't say we don't malign them for that and say, oh, you can't you can't really get the feeling out of that. People get feelings out of that. So I understand with celebrities, there is some kind of placebo effect. There is some kind of thing where some people see the celebrities online doing these things, going through similar struggles that they think they're going through. They actually get some positive effect out of it. Is it actually solving anything directly? I don't think so. I think it's more of a placebo effect. But I see some people maligning them for this, whereas on the other side, they look at the theological practices and they think that is worthwhile. They think that is necessary. We need to congregate. We need to be able to go out and pray. Here in Kenya and in any, many other countries, they had national prayer days after this event. Now that's people praying to many different things, but does that prayer directly actually address the virus, the actual pandemic? No, it doesn't. Again, it's a placebo effect. Some people find worth in this, and then other people don't. So right now, in current year, this is just one thing that I was pointing out, and this is just kind of a mashup of my shorty series where I take little small thoughts, and these two are together. Sometimes they're related. A lot of things have been clicking, as you can think. There's a lot of connections being made in the current year, in the current time, with the current situation. So this other one was celebrity social media antics are similar to national prayer days in addressing the reality of the virus, 
placebic. Prove me wrong. So if you think I'm wrong about what I'm saying right there, where people look at things that they find somewhat have meaning to their lives, and the continuation or participation in these things from these people seems to have some positive effect, seem to have some placebo effect for some of these people. If you truly believe what's going on, you can find some solace out of there. I don't ascribe to any of these. I don't look at celebrity and uh, <laughs> one thing, I think it was a Dave Chappelle show or something. He was like, tell me, what what, what does Ja think? <laughs> Where is Ja? <laughs> no, that's the thing. I'm also, what does Jehovah think? Where is Jehovah? I, I don't care about either of these. I, I don't care. It doesn't really affect me. But for certain, I know it affects some people out there. So that's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe. Till the next one. Hope you guys are okay. Links below to the merchandise store. Till next one, goodbye.